Hi, I'm Rick R. Reed, and I have a new book out. It's called Sky Full of Mysteries. It's a great love story that happens to include an alien abduction. <laughs> That's right. And what happens to a relationship when one half of the couple disappears for 20 years? I'm going to read you a little excerpt from the book right now. Um, and this is The Alien Abduction which is probably one of the more unusual alien abductions in literature. At least I like to think so. Rory made his way to the west and found the perfect alley. The streetlight had burned out, and there was a large dumpster for additional cover. High-rise apartment buildings rose up all around him for protective cover. Hand on his fly, Rory wanted to laugh with relief. The quiet and dark little spot appeared as an oasis, the perfect solution to an embarrassing problem. Rory stood next to the dumpster, unzipped his fly, and then hand on the brick wall and leaning his weight into it, let go. The relief caused a deep sigh to issue from his lips. The release was so pleasurable that it was a slice of heaven. His sigh approached a growl of contentment, almost sexual. He closed his eyes with delight. And then, from even under the cover of his closed eyelids, he saw it. Bright light. Shit, was the first thought that sprang to mind. The cops was the second. Rory opened his eyes, trying to make his stream go faster to finish up because there was no way he could stop himself now. He wanted to bark out some giddy hysterical laughter, even as he imagined calling Cole from a police precinct to bail him out on a charge of indecent exposure. All this went through Rory's head in a millisecond. When he finished, because he had to finish, it didn't matter who was watching, he looked around. Sigh. There was no police car at the mouth of the alley. No beat cop shining a flashlight on him in all his unzipped glory. No, the light, Rory realized, was coming from above. He quickly shook off and stuffed his dick back in his shorts. He raised his head, shielding his eyes from the brilliant light and squinting into it at the same time. But even those measures were feeble against the blinding illumination. The light was so bright, it ignited a shooting pain in his head, made him fear scorching his retinas. There was a grinding sound, too. It took him a moment to notice that, because he was so stunned by the hovering light of a thousand suns above him. It was like the mechanical drumbeat of machinery going about its business, boom, 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 like the beating of a clockwork heart. Rory was too stunned to be afraid. He turned and leaned back against the wall, a little breathless, and closed his eyes to witness myriad suns, orange and red, pulsating on his inner eyelids. When he opened his eyes again, careful to cast them down on the bricks of the alley, he noticed how the shining illuminated everything at his feet. The crushed old-style beer can, the used condom, the coffee grounds, and the oil stains. He took this in dully, like he was observing these mundane cast-offs as someone who was studying them, but for whom they were foreign, like an archaeologist peering down at relics from an ancient civilization. For a jarring moment, he couldn't, for the life of him, recall where he was. Maybe this way of occupying his mind was a defense, he realized at last, a defense against horror and recognition. Because with a certainty that approached 100%, Rory knew what was issuing the bright light above him, knew without having to go to the trouble to peer into its blinding white illumination once more. The realization made him shiver, despite his racing heart and the light sheen of sweat that covered his face. It was it. The membrane, the cloud, the ship. It was not in the distance as before, but directly above. The cold seized his limbs, paralyzing, like the very blood in his veins was slowly freezing. And then he felt nothing at all, save for a few vague physical sensations, 
a pulling at the top of his head, so hard he could feel his hair rise, strand by strand, then faster, until all of it stood straight up. His limbs followed, arms stretching up above his head, but not of their own accord. And then, with a terror so acute, it made him not scream, but laugh hysterically. His feet lost contact with the ground as he rose slowly into the light. That's all I'm going to give you for now. Hope you'll buy the book and read what happens to Rory and the loved one he leaves behind, Cole. Sky Full of Mysteries, out now from Dream Spinner Press. Thanks for watching.